So anyway, I, part of the Easter gathering, there had been some birthdays and there had been some birthdays that we hadn't gone out and celebrated yet. And I, so I saw my aunt for the first time after my birthday earlier in the year, and she gave me one of her owl mugs. So when I moved out to Texas, I initially stayed with my aunt who's lived here for like 50 years. And so I, I was staying with her, my, my 80 year old aunt, and I was using her owl mugs for coffee in the morning. And I, I every morning I'd come out and I'd do stream and I was streaming out of her garage and I would have my owl mug and I'd be sipping on my coffee, doing the stream, playing storybook brawl, telling people to quit looking at my hooter. <laughs> But then for my birthday, she gave me an owl mug. I can't really show you the contents. I got a, I got a little bit of chocolate milk. So there's chocolate milk in my owl mug. Yes, I want a mask. Skip's in the pool. I want a mask. I don't know why I'm taking so long to just pick mask when I know I want a mask. I'm just going to grab that, roll it, see what I get here. Nothing I'm too excited about. Okay, cool. Yeah, so I was hanging out with my mom and dad and my aunt and a cousin, and we were all doing Easter stuff. And I hadn't seen my aunt, you know, since my birthday. And then she gave me this owl mug for my birthday because she remembered how much I enjoyed her owl mugs, which was very cool. But then what I learned was that apparently my 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 cousin then, so my aunt goes home before everybody else. My aunt, my aunt takes off early and we're all still hanging out. And my cousin comes and tells me that she's a little bit miffed. That apparently these were some kind of coveted owl mugs that my aunt received as a gift from another family member and everybody loved these owl mugs. And the fact that my aunt decided to give one to me <laughs> has left my cousin feeling ever so slightly jealous. <laughs> now she has to figure out how to deal with that jealous feeling. <laughs> uh, I love this silly owl mug. I love, I love this silly owl mug and now I love the silly story that goes along with the silly owl mug. I don't know. I'm not likely to beat Merlin and keep this buff, but whatever. Get wrecked, cousin. That's right. I I, I told her I was like, you know what? Because my aunt had, like I said, we were all hanging out. My aunt had already gone home, and I I, I told her I was looking at. I was talking to my cousin. I was like, you can have it. I'll, I'll give you the owl mug right now. You can have the owl mug right now. You can have it. But she wouldn't take it from me. <laughs> But like, look, it seemed very important to her and I wouldn't want to keep anybody from an owl mug, even though, you know, I was very pleased to have it because of course, what do I look like? A guy who doesn't want this owl mug? Of course I want this owl mug. Like, if you look at me, you should see a guy who absolutely wants to have this owl mug because that's, that's who I am. That, I guess I did. I got in there and I earned that owl mug. What is it? There's a, there's a comic and I can never find it. I've never been able to find it again. But it was someone in a bathroom looking at themselves in the mirror, hyping themselves up, giving themselves a pep talk. They're in a bathroom at a red lobster looking at the mirror, hyping themselves up, giving themselves a pep talk. And they were saying to themselves, you get back in there and you earn that cheddar biscuit. And I can't ever find this comic again. I don't know where it was, but that stays with me. You get back in there and you earn that cheddar biscuit. <laughs> I I don't know. I really I don't know. I just work here. All right, let's dream. Dream. Dream, dream, dream. Mm -mm, cheddar biscuits. <laughs> I didn't realize I uh, have inadvertently done the Eric McGann call. <laughs> cheddar biscuits, chet, chet, cheddar, cheddar, cheddar biscuits, chet, chet, cheddar. Eric's like cheddar biscuits. <laughs> All right, fine, I'll take that. I uh, was hoping for a royal. <laughs> cheddar biscuits. <laughs> Strangely, also my nickname for Eric McCann. But, uh, anyway. How's it going, Cheddar Biscuits? Oh, no. I need, like, a, <laughs> I need a napkin. Oh, crap. <laughs> I'm getting chocolate milk in my mustache. I'm too embarrassed. I'm going to put a hand up over my face. <laughs> ah, shoot. I didn't realize drinking chocolate milk was going to be challenging. I need to... I need to trim my beard. It's getting a little whiskery. All right, let's just see who I become. 
APOC? Zell? Geppetto? I want an APOC. I want an APOC, but I'm concerned because the start hasn't been that good. And I feel like I'm going to have to use my Rumple spell like next turn just to be okay. Why aren't we APOC yet? Because Geppetto actually saves me health here. All right, fine, fine, fine. We'll take the APOC. Geppetto actually was the safer play. Now, granted, I know y'all don't care about safe. You see APOC and you just want to see APOC, but... Ooh, XP! Listen, when you're offered Geppetto and I'm saying take APOC, you know it's APOC. We don't even have any bonus experience, though, until right there. We don't even know that APOC's going to be any good at all. <laughs> Y'all just want to see APOC. I, I, I'm, I also want to see APOC. Don't, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that I don't want to play APOC. Like, APOC was the one that I saw, and I was like, oh, that looks cool. But we're not, we're not in a spot where we're going to... A safer play, what does that mean? Can we just put any words next to each other? It was that there was li like literally a Princess Peep and a Geppetto <laughs> side by side. I, w I saw that Geppetto was available to select and I had a Princess Peep right, right, right here. Geppetto's favorite thing. I would have been stronger right now to be Geppetto than Apocalypse, right? I just would be. I just would be. Would just be stronger. It just would. It would. This isn't like a, you know, we can't, it's not something that we can debate or it, it, it's, it's just true. It would just be stronger. But APOC is like way cooler than Geppetto. Way cooler. Yeah, whatever. I'll take one of these. I don't think I'll lock. Yeah, well, now that I got one, I kind of do want to. Fine. I'll take two of these. Take two. They're small. Ah. We do get a little bit of growth there, though. Oh, good hits. Very good hits. Getting very lucky. Actually, we're fine now. Creepers and peepers. <laughs> Jeepers creepers, where'd you get them? Creepers. Jeepers peepers. <laughs> where'd you get them creepers? Jeepers creepers. Where'd you get them peeps? Wait, no, they had, they had creeps. They had multiple creeps in one peep. I don't even... Hmm. Look how strong we are winning. We won a fight. That doesn't necessarily mean we're strong, though. Don't... Don't get it too mixed up. We got work to do... Oof. Ah. Uh, I don't love that stuff. I don't love this either, but I don't hate it. Okay. We do that, and then... I think I do take the Burning Palm. On the bigger of the two weavers. Maybe on the smaller of the two. They'll both be at pretty good breakpoints if I do. Okay, fair enough. I just I do need to continue to win combats if possible, so let's see if we can do that. Well, you, you say that, Marsupial, but if I die three turns before on APOC that I do on Geppetto, you know, if I survive three more turns on Geppetto, that's 36 gold that I will never see on APOC. You know what I'm saying? All I'm saying is for every argument that you can come up with that it makes more sense, I, I can I can certainly throw another nonsense argument of my own. <laughs> Get stronger throughout the game. This is not my... Just don't die. Oh. No. No, 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 no. You're like, are you praising Apocalypse right now? No? Oh. Can't hear you. Oh, you you are? You are praising Apocalypse right now? I can hear you just fine all of a sudden. Weird. Uh... I don't love this. I love that. I'm going to play it next turn. I'm going to go to 6 the following turn with a spinning wheel just ready to rip. I love it. Perfectly happy with it. Um, In that case, then, I think I just trade one of these out. I think I'll just keep the 5-5. Five five. I think I just trade this out. Grab a baby root out the shop. Hold that over. So next turn, I'm going to grab the experience, and I'm going to grab the wombats. 
And then I'm hoping to then save my spinning gold for the first turn on six, rip that to start the phase, and then buy as much that goes with what I start with and go from there. It's rolled into a shop with three doom breaths after high rolling pumpkin holy grail. This game is so wild. <laughs> like when things are going perfect, it feels so good. Did you all know that? When, <laughs> when RNG is 100% in my favor, I'm just like vibing. Oof. Yeah, this hurts. At least that upgrade goes down. Too bad I couldn't take out anything else. I could just Wombat and Tweedle, but the I, I actually... I wanna I just want to go to 6 at the start of next turn, because I'm going to have so much money. Like, I get that I could... I guess against the Ghost, the other thing I could have done was not play the experience here. Take like Wombat Tweedle, you know, like take as much as I can. Then I could start the next turn. I could sell off everything. Then I could Spinning Wheel. Then I could take the, you know, I, I, it's such a hassle. It's such, it's such a pain. You get a treasure map? No, I got a crystal ball. Oh, uh, yeah. That could be handy. Well, so the one thing that would have been good with, uh, if I had waited, I had like two extra things on the bench too, right? I, I might have been able to have, say, 36 gold or so before I spent the four on the experience. So I might have been able to be level six with like 32 gold. Helm was okay, but Helm's not that exciting. 10 more health on your dog, making it harder to get it dead at the start of the fight sometimes is kind of awkward and... There are other ways to get health on your... I don't know. I didn't really love the helm. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't great. IMO. Uh, here, I almost don't want to use this until I... Like, maybe I build up a chicken or two. Yeah, I'm going to roll. I'm just going to roll. I'm going to wait one turn before I attempt to use that. I could just put Lordy and Echo down. <laughs> it's not half bad. I think I want to, <laughs> I don't want to spend my money on that, right? But can I get to an Ashwood board? I think that's what this wants to be. Yeah, pretty convinced this wants to be Ashwood Elm. Ooh, yeah. Oh, baby. <laughs> what is this game? What is this board? Dying with Rumple's hero power in my hand? Nah. Nah, come on. Come on. Dying? Dying? I don't think so. Hey! <laughs> oh, they have ninth book. That's what's happening. Well, all right. Well, here's two more spells for you. <laughs> Okie dokie. Um, I'm not gonna die to pants, right? Part of me wants to. Part of me wants to have more stuff to sell before I go all in on this. I think it's time. Let's use it. I'll keep the good boy just because it's such a good shard target too. Pants won't typically have a lot that I want to steal. I don't mind that. I don't mind that. Uh, hmm. I don't love that, but I don't mind it. I don't think it's Hercules right here. I love that. Yeah, we talk about things I don't mind and things that I love. That's something that I love. Oh? Oh? That's pretty cool. All right. 
I don't know if I got a lot of value from that Rumple spell, but I got a lot of stuff. I got more stuff this turn than I normally would have been able to get. I spent... I bought uh, an Echo and an Ash, and I spent eight gold on an Evil Twin. Everything's fine, Tim. Everything's fine. Dying with Rumple Syrup Power. You worry too much. You're just brawling. You, wor you worry. You worry. You worry too much. Just, we're just brawling. Holy Cupid's so many. <laughs> they're not even that useful, but there's just a bunch of them. All right. All right, and now, 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 now that I've survived and we've made it this far, how do you feel about taking the crystal ball versus the haunted helm? Now. Now, what are we thinking? Pretty okay with it? I feel like we we should be pretty okay with it. It's been pretty good now. <laughs> ah, definitely what's in the box. Earlier when it seemed sketch, it, it definitely seemed sketch, but now it shouldn't seem nearly a sketch anymore. <laughs> what is... There's not a lot of evils here for the <laughs> golden pumpkin. You're ambivalent? You would have just died with Rumple Hero Power in hand? I mean, it seemed worth using it the last turn. I know I only got 24 gold and I couldn't necessarily sell a whole bunch and so on and so forth, but it's been a fairly effective mass game. There was Skip. Skip was in the pool, by the way. Nobody picked Skip. I had it offered to me. That's mostly why I picked Mask in the first place. I do kind of wish, though, that I had navigated that go to six a little bit differently. That would have been nice. <laughs> Hundo sword. Huh. I don't love it. Because it tempts me to put the burn beard up here, which is not where I want the burn beard to be at all. Because if anybody's showing evil. Oh. Huh. Just the tiger. I'm going to keep this for the Ashwood. I still think that's the most relevant buff I got right here is just make the Ashwood bigger and bigger. I just, I hate, I hate that hundred sword interaction with Burnbeard and Tweedle. Things that you are putting first in the hundred sword slot specifically because you want them to have a whole bunch of HP, but also you're putting them in the first slot. And if your opponent has a rotten apple tree, they got a real decent shot of running into that first things first. So you purposely positioned around making a very healthy character in slot one that immediately gets scammed by either Rotten Apple Tree or Medusa. I'm already sketched out enough having all, all of my healthy stuff up front, but I don't want to split them because God forbid Cupid happened, right? If Cupid happens and Echoes are ever in two different lines, they are immediately going to be kissing. Two rotten apple trees. God. Wait, we dodged one. Oh, and then my puny tree hits one. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. I was probably too big for it to matter even if my burn beard got burnt by the rotten apple tree, but still. That's what I'm talking about. 100 sword burn beard, 100 sword tweedle. I just don't like it. I don't like it because rotten apple trees are so good that you, like, you pick them a lot, you know? A lot of times when you're staring at a board and nothing else makes a lot of sense and a rotten apple tree shows up and you're like, oh, that actually kind of works. You just buy it. You just, you just, you're good. You just take it. You're happy. Well, wouldn't be doing my job here if I didn't see what killer treasure I could get. Oh, Phoenix Feather. Let's do that. Mimic? <laughs> no, let's Feather. Sphinx Ball was interesting, yeah. Hmm. Don't care about that one. I was going to grab this up. I'll actually save the spell here. Maybe I did want a Sphinx, but I don't know. It's hard to ignore really cool treasure. This is really cool treasure. Oh my god. That's pretty good. I got, I got, like I said, I got chocolate milk today. I went to the grocery store to get my car registration. And then to do a little shopping while I was there. 
And I saw some chocolate milk that caught my eye, and now I have chocolate milk. It was called uh, Midnight Chocolate. That was what it was. That was why I got, I was just like, Midnight Chocolate. That sounds too good. I gotta, I gotta have that. <laughs> no, we're locking up Witch's Brew. <laughs> Legit. I locked for that spell. Just, just a 1-1 buff on my Ashwood Elm. Because there's not a lot that I want to do from here, except get more trees, right? <laughs> this, my board's pretty, not complete, but it's got, you know, one of everything that it wants. I kind of want to dream, but I kind of want to get some more trees. I don't even know. I think we take one. No, this can't be right. Ditch the Pumpa? That doesn't feel good. I could dream again. <laughs> I need both Burnbeards on the board. I just feel like if I take a hit here, I think I'd rather be Morgan. Because I think there's a real shot that if I took a hit, I wouldn't die. I'm going to go like this. I don't know if this is right. God, I hope I don't get punished by Cupid splitting these up. Pigo on the Echo. That's not very Pogo. If you're me. If you're them, it's pretty Pog. Hey! <laughs> hey! Hey! <laughs> Wait. You want a minus 30 my Golden Pumpa? No? No. Oh. Not interested. They're over there minus 30 and everything else. I thought maybe they would minus 30 the Golden Pumpa too. I thought maybe they would, you know, figured. Maybe you're going to minus 30 a whole bunch of other stuff. Why not that too, right? Shoot. Uh, it's kind of tempting. I might as well. It's very expensive, but sure. <laughs> Legit. I'm perfectly happy to be getting a few 1-1 one -one buffs on this Ashwood Elm every turn. I mean, maybe I'd like to do a little bit more, but for the most part, I'm, I'm pretty I'm pretty content with just that. With my, my silly little echo and my evil good tree. I mean... Chris, I'm, I'm, I, I feel, I feel similarly in that regard. I would love to have Spooky Forest right in my hands right now. I'd love to be playing it. I'd love to have, I'd love to have new content. It is very unfortunate, but yeah. True story, or the, the truth of the matter is, we just don't have a clue. We don't have a clue. We don't have a clue if we're gonna get it or not. We're sure hoping, but nobody knows. And then I think they had initially planned Spooky Forest for like March. If I'm not mistaken. This looks kind of like my pants board that I had a few rounds back that I didn't make it with where it was like big, but not big enough. <laughs> big, but you know, not super big. Oh, top two. Let's go. No, <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Don't really care about that. Burning palm. Not important to me. Uh, yeah. Wait, I can't afford it? <laughs> what? Is this... I mean, there was one 10 health Faba back there, but I don't think that's really going to do much. Uh, you know what? I think the Ogre Princess is better luck than the Donk. Let's not pollute my bench with... Donks. We don't need donks in here messing with the morale. Why would you make it good? So that I can evil twin it later. And it's more health. That the pumpkin's not terribly important to me, Rainbow Jedi. And the resummons I get from it. It's more about the trees and their stats. So I'm looking at this more like a tree board than a pumpkin board. It's just a tree board that happens to have a crocked golden pumpkin too. Wait, so Bam uh basically has answers but won't share them, is what I'm being led to believe. Ooh. Pick up Mako. Minus 10 the Jormungandr's. Get Jormungandr'd. Hey. Ugh. Yeah. At least I got one full value Phoenix Feather over here. It's better than what I might have got. Yeah. It's better than I might have got. With all these ninth book spells. It's not that many ninth book spells, but still.
I'm just going to take Spear over Crystal Ball now. Not too worried about Crystal Ball scaling anymore. Wouldn't mind a Pigomorph. Uh, I still wouldn't mind a Pigomorph. Not going to get one, but... I mean, this is just Stat City. I'll take you down to Statistics City, where the grass is green and the statistics are numerous. <laughs> Another croc! Yeah, but I got rid of Crystal Ball, so I'm not as excited about them anymore. I used to be pretty excited about Crocodiles, but that was only when I had Crystal Balls. This is the most slayable thing I have, but I don't think their slay... No, their slay is still pretty handy, isn't it? Because they're Aeon Balling. Hmm. Ended up in one of those awkward Russian nesting doll situations there. Hey, they got the sleigh. They still got it. Pow. Blam. Kaboom. Kablamo. Ah, I knew there would be a rotten apple at some point. Also, they never even got to see my pumpa. Oh, there it is. Now they got to see it. There you go. If you're real lucky, you'll minus 30 it. Ah, you missed. Not lucky. They don't get to see what's in it. <laughs> All right. Uh, hey, trees. Let's go. What was that? That was mask into rumple into apoc. Or the dream into Morgan. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I got uh, no major regrets with anything, except I do kind of wish I had against that ghost fight, save the XP. Because I could have played the money spell at the same turn with the XP. So I might have been able to get to this board state maybe even like one turn faster. Maybe. Maybe not. 